Uh, so what's up guys? I uh, decided to do a little update. I got a new helmet by the way, so I don't know how the audio sounds. Uh, I have the mic positioned where I think it needs to be, but nah, who knows. I haven't really done a uh, audio test in it yet. But, anyways, so I want to do a little bit of an update. Uh, yeah, so we're down here in AJ now. I don't, I, I don't think I've put out a video since I've been down here, but I'm in AJ now and finally got a job and things are finally starting to calm down. So I'm going to get back to making videos, but I've been keeping an eye on the community and yeah, it's dying a bit. It's not really the best anymore. I mean, the community's dying. community's dying a lot so I'm gonna go that way I'm gonna see what's out here it just seems like it's slowing down doesn't seem like many people are into it anymore I'm still into it I still enjoy doing it it's not gonna be something I'm gonna be stopping anytime soon but you know going up and down yeah, I, I still enjoy doing it. It's something I'm not gonna stop. I do have my visor down. My new helmet has two visors in it. It has sunglasses and a normal clear visor. Which is nice. But yeah, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna be stopping anytime soon. I still enjoy doing it way too much. But, speaking about that, I wanna start doing something different with my channel. I mean, let's do stuff I enjoy doing. And I want to start doing projects, but I've been thinking about how to do the videos. I've got the perfect fucking thing, I think. So when I do any sort of building or just like designing things or making things, I don't have a large selection of tools. I have what I think or I feel a lot of people like me already have just the basic tools. I have a bench grinder. I don't have a scroll saw. I don't have a, a band saw or anything like that. I have a hacksaw. I have just like the normal shit. And I think I want to do videos where people like me with just basic tools can make things and I'll show them how to do it and they don't need a bunch of fancy tools to do it. And in order to do this, I, you guys know I used to ride Mary Jane, my WR450, and the engine blew on it. Oh, my nose is itchy and I'm sweating. It's only 80 something and I'm sweating. How sad is that? But yeah, let me close my visor because you guys can't probably hear me. Um, yeah, so Mary Jane, she's out of commission right now. I still have her though. But what I want to do is do an engine swap on her. And I've seen people do engine swaps sort of on WRs. I did see a guy, which was real cool. He put a Sportster engine in it, one of the new Evo engines. Now I'm not going to be doing anything that extensive. But I, I do want to do an engine swap to it, and it is going to be something different. It's going to be a bigger engine. And I, I want to make a, make a series of videos doing this build, because I'm going to strip the bike down almost completely. I'm going to keep it a roller chassis, but get rid of a lot of the stuff that's in it and just redo it and show people, you know what, you can do this with just normal tools. You don't need a lot to do it. But in order to do that, I mean, I got a new job, but I'm not making a lot of money doing it. I'm an aide. I just kind of help kids that need help. So in order to do this, I'm going to be making a Patreon. So if any of you guys come across this video, please share it because I want to see how many people would be interested in doing it. And I'm just going to have a Patreon up, put in as much money as you want to it. I'll be releasing videos early and I may even have special videos that just go on the Patreon just for the Patreon followers and the people that donate. I mean, you could donate a dollar. I don't care. But I, I, I want to start doing that and I'll start making the videos once I get enough to start doing the build. And I already have a lot of the stuff. Uh, I'm just going to need some metal, 
to do engine mounts, you know, buy the engine, do the normal stuff, because I'm going to do a brake upgrade on it, I'm thinking, not sure. Um, I'm hoping I won't need to, I don't think I'll need to do a, uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't think I'm going to need to do a custom rear sprocket, but you never know. But yeah, I want to do that Roadrunner. <laughs> Dirt does burnouts fun. But yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'm not going to limit just to the bike. I have my 53 Ford that's going to need work done on it, and I found an engine I'm very interested in putting in it, but I'll need the money to do it. And I'm thinking if I get Patreon supporters behind it, you know, it gives me something to do it has something I could show you guys and I can kind of keep it informative like show people you know what you don't need a fucking lathe you don't need a mill you don't need a bandsaw if you just have the basic tools you could do pretty much anything I'm doing and even if you don't have the basic tools you can go Harbor Freight and pick it up real cheap and still get the project done and look fairly professional which is what I want to do I have no idea how noisy this helmet is to you guys all I know is I'm trying to get used to it. It's a, it's a normal sport bike helmet. <laughs> yeah, it's weird to me. So I apologize if the audio is bad, but please, if you guys come across this video and you're interested in those kind of videos, leave a comment, share the video, leave a like. If you find the Patreon, please, uh, I, I don't like asking for people to donate, but if you want to donate, that backfire though yeah please donate I mean once I get the money to do the builds I mean I'm gonna be putting my own money into it as well don't get me wrong pull that front wheel yeah I'll be donating my own money to this so I mean it's it's not like I'm just relying on you guys to do it. As I get money I can put towards the projects, I will be putting money towards the projects. My mirror keeps getting a lot of whack. But yeah, I want to do these kind of videos. I want to show people how to do things, make it look semi-professional. Especially if you've never done it before and you've wanted to, you like the idea. I could uh, show you guys how to do it. I mean, I'm not the best by any means, but I can show people that you don't need to know a lot to do it at all. So I think that would be fun. Uh, if you guys are interested, please, please let me know. I mean, share the video. Let other people know that I'm doing this kind of thing and I want to do this kind of thing and I want to show people how to do it. It's not, it, I, I don't think it's asking a lot. I don't expect people to donate. I mean, if you guys want to donate a dollar, go ahead, donate a dollar. Just get in there on the Patreon. It's, I mean. Woo! I love this bike. It might come to the point where if somebody else wants to do a build contest, we can do a build contest. Or a build off. Build offs. I don't know. But I, I want to use this as an opportunity if, if this does blow up and my channel does take off miraculously from the 180 some odd subs I have right now. Fluctuates a lot. I'll gain a sub, then lose a sub. Gain a sub, lose a sub. Gain a sub, lose a sub. I want to go see this guy. I want to see what he's riding. He looks like a scooter. But yeah, I mean, if it does blow up, people like it and people want to join in and have some fun with this, we can. Can slow down there, Bibba. I'm going a little quick there. He turned, wasn't paying attention. But yeah, I, I mean, I want to get 
I, I want to get people interested in this kind of thing. I want to get people knowing what they need to be doing. Or, or how to do things, not need to be doing, but how to do things if they want to do these things. I'd like to bring people in, have people join in on the builds too. So, and, and this is all going to be do, done outside. It's not going to be done in a garage or a shed. I want to show that it's possible to do these kind of things under nearly any circumstance. Kind of roadkill style with like how they do things just to do them like in a parking lot. I'm not going to be doing an engine swap on a bike in a parking lot. That's a bit much. But you know, you could do you could do a lot. You can do a lot with simple tools. That's a lot of fucking cigarette butts. God damn. what to do or how to do things and uh, when this video goes up the patreon will be live and ready for people to uh, do what they want to do and by the way I haven't released a video in a while because well with the moving and trying to get a job and being on a, a extremely tight budget one of the things I didn't have in my budget was video editing software and I was paying by the month Wow, this is a real fucked up intersection. Well, I was paying monthly. I was paying monthly for Adobe. Yeah, I was paying monthly for Adobe, so I didn't really have that in my budget as much as I would like to have had it. But I found another editing software that I want to try out. And, uh, you know, I, I, I try this stuff all the time. So, you know, not everybody could afford things. And uh, I'll be posting, if I find a good free video editor, I'll post that for people to find out. And it, it, it could be kind of trusted, because see somebody on YouTube that's not out trying to scam somebody. I mean, it helps. I mean free, I don't want video editors with these ads or shit on it or you have to pay after a trial. No, I look for open source stuff. But I found one that I've been tinkering with over the last couple days. It, it's, it does a lot for being free. I mean, it does a lot for being free, but not necessarily the best. stuff like that and I'll be posting uh, what editor I use at that time for that video in the description along as if I have like any custom like uh, uh, Photoshop type work done in it I use Inkscape for all that or no Inkscape for my text but I use GIMP for all my like Photoshop work but I'll be putting all the links to that stuff in the description too because I want to make this more of an open community for people that follow me that want to get into doing video editing. I mean, the stuff I use could be used for anything, not just photo vlogging. If you guys want to do animated stuff, you can use it for that too. There's no real like, oh, you can only use it for this, or you can only use it for that. That's, that's not how these things work. So, yeah, I want to make it a little bit more open. I, I want to make my community better. <laughs> and I'll still be doing moto vlogging and stuff, but I want to start doing these builds too. Because it's something I really like doing. I mean, even if it's just something completely fucking random, I like to just make things. 
and there's not many careers out there where I could do that. And it'd be amazing if I could make YouTube a career. It's a long fucking shot, don't get me wrong. But you know, everybody has to have dreams and ambition, admiration for something. But yeah, I just want to make things easy and simple, fun.